Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. I have another book through for you. Okay, so this journal is called the Lemonade Stand, um, and it is a nine by six. Two signatures, two inch spine, um, and it was very fun to make. The kit used inside of this journal was from uh, Raven's Printable Designs, I think her Etsy shop is called. Um, I will link to that down in the description box so you guys can um, check that out. And this will be in my Etsy shop soon, like shortly after I, I get this video up. Um, I will get it listed. So, let's see here. Um, right here we have the uh, tassel. And this tassel has a lot of um, nice uh, textures and fabrics. We've got some pearls down here on both sides, um, some ribbon. We even have some rickrack that you see on the cover here. Um, just all kinds of different colors that I tried to match the best with this focal point on the journal now also on here we've got this dangle here that is um lemons and some faux crystals that i made and on this side we've got this <laughs> big lemon but they're great additions to this tassel now this tassel is on here by this little ring right here and you just feed it through there like you would feed keys through. So it can come off. Okay. Now for the cover. So this is a, it's a hard backed cover, but it's a padded cover. And it's got all, it's got cloth on it. Um, we got some rick rack down here. We've got this focal point here of a lemonade stand, which comes out. So really any any picture could go in there that'll fit in there um, this can be journal on it's got the back made with love my name and then number 32 because this is my 32nd journal okay and we got this really pretty cloth um, flower I, I got a pack of them from Amazon and this one seemed to um, fit really well I wanted to use um, the same pattern in um, in the fabric but I couldn't find that in the fabric so we ended up just doing it um, for this frame right here so we also got uh, these gold corners on all four corners um, the closure is this beautiful um, sorry silk this came I think it's Crimson Heart Studios is where that came from so now we're going to look over here at the charms that are on um, on the pages here. So we've got this one with some more lemons and that faux crystal. We got here is a glass of lemonade, which I thought was super cute. Um, here's another one that I, dangle I made with green beads, and then one with the pinkish maroonish color. Um, beads with the crystal beads on there and then down here at the bottom is another one of those um, big lemons also i tried to make these dangles also match the the whole focal point too with with the colors okay let's go on the inside okay oops that flipped over so on the inside here, we've got this pocket here that I created, and it's just really the definition of lemonade. It just says a sweetened beverage of diluted lemon juice. Um, and so inside of that is this journal card, When Life Gives You Lemons, Make Lemonade. That is a classic quote. Everybody knows that quote. We've got some fabric in, inside here too, um, the same as on the cover. Just wanted to point that out. Um, on this page, we got the one of the floating pockets that I like to make with this really cute dangle. The dangle is like a little melon color flower. 
and then the little circle punch in the back is a lemon with a flower and then some of that fabric and then the card is the thank you card i like to include them in all of my journals and of course it is an altered paper clip at the same time the kit is just amazing uh, i absolutely love it Okay, so then on this page, we've got a double um, tag that goes over the page. Um, so we got a pocket on the front here with this journal card, the same muted yellows and pinks. And then the back of it's just plain, but it's this, this shimmery paper. I absolutely love it. Beautiful paper. Okay, and that just fits back over the page. I promise it does. <laughs> um, this page, this is a recipe to make lemonade, so I just made it a pocket. And we've got this cute little journal card tucked in there. Got some rickrack on the top. It can be rolled on. Rolled on. The rickrack kind of helps it from sinking all the way into the pocket, so that's kind of nice. And that's our tab that has our lemon on it. It's a pretty heavy lemon, too. That's why it's at the bottom. Um, here we just did some stenciling on the page. Some more stenciling. Here's another one of the floating pockets. This one doesn't have a dangle, though. But it does have a card that can be wrote on the front and the back. They're just really fun to make. Very easy to make. And it just slides back on with this paper clip. There is a tuck here. If life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> so here we got a tag that I made with this really pretty, like, it's like an orangey yellow. It's not real orange, but it's not yellow either. And then I got this here with some rickrack, and then it can be rolled on in the back. And also on these pages, that on the journal pages, I put some of this fabric down the sides. I thought that was a nice addition. Um, this right here is a slide that I made, specimen slide, but I added a pocket. The, I don't remember where I learned this from, but they didn't put pockets on it. They just had like the slide in there. But I wanted to add a pocket. I had this one in my stash. I decided to add it into this journal because it had fruit on it. I don't know what I was thinking, but this is the one with the dangle of the lemons and the, and the crystal charm. So the back is just plain, but... This part's cute. And then this little card comes out. You could put like a phone number on there or a quote, almost anything. And it just, it suited it well. Okay. And then over here, we have a folio. Are we in frame here? Okay. Now, I didn't put anything in these because the journal was getting kind of full. But we have a pocket right there. We have a pocket right here. A pocket here and then this folds down and there's a pocket there and then we got this writing space in the middle and then this journal card pulls out it's got a cute little um, it's got a cute little lemon uh, picture right here on the top of it I like really like to make the folios I think they're a lot of fun and they're great to add in journals too so there's that, and then this just goes back on here. It only keeps the one side closed, but, <laughs> you know. So I carried this over to this side and had a matching pocket. This is an envelope that I added to the journal. Um, right here is a recipe card. I make these myself, um, and I only made them just for this journal. So there's four of these in the journal, and they're all the same. And then it can be wrote on the back. And then right here, we have a pocket here in the front as well as the pocket in the back. And then you got this pocket because it is an envelope. And then a pocket here with another journal card. Here we got some more stenciling. And then over here that this lemonade is connected to 
um, is this cute little floating pocket. Um, I don't remember who I saw do this, but I thought it was really cool that they there was a hole punched in the center. Um, and I wanted to try one, so I made one for this journal. Um, we got a journal card here that it can be journaled on, and a journal card here in the back also. Let's see if we can get this back on here easy enough. Yeah, see, so ta-da, very easy. Okay, I just put lemonade up here at the top. Here's a book page here. We got a pocket right here. I didn't put anything in that pocket. And then we've got this right here with a lemon on it. It was a Timu print. And then I brought this over here and made a side pocket or corner pocket there. And then the same stuff on this journal card. And then a couple of stickers that are behind the fence. And then it can be wrote on the back. And I collaged here with the word lemonade. Thought that was a cute layout there. And there's the center signature. Beautiful prints. Um, here is another uh, floating pocket. This one has a cute little starfish for the dangle. And on here you can write on the front of the card. The back is printed. And then right here we have another book page with a little pocket on there. And then we got two of those little uh, sticker stamps in there. I didn't put anything in this pocket, but there is something in this pocket. And this is just a journal card. It's got some lines on it. it can be wrote on the back. Um, and also it's got some stars on the moon and I put a lemon down there in the corner. Some more stenciling on there. Here is just the top of the envelope and I just stuck down the center and put this little applique on there. Actually it just comes on this roll. It's just trim and you can cut off the little daisies. So I did that and put it there and then these little tiny cute little journal cards <laughs> slide in both sides of that. Over here we have another um, hidden journal card with some lemons on it and this is the lemonade in the glass, that little charm. And these are super easy to put in and pull out too. There's re never really an issue getting those in and out of the pages. And then we got a tab here with the green dangle right there, the green beads. Um, right here we've got a stamp here and then this says when life gives you lemons. I love how you make lemonade. <laughs> that was really cute. So those are both stamps. This one's just on a separate piece of paper. I wanted the, the detail and the definition of the um, inking around the edges. And then here, this is a magnet right here. This says our story and this folds down. And then you can see I got some more stamps here with the same thing, just a different lemon. And then this folds up, and then inside is some paper to be able to journal on. And like I said, there's a magnet that holds that shut. Some more stenciling with different colors on this one to kind of draw on the colors there. I like, I tried to leave some empty pages for whoever gets this they can add their own touches they're on the next signature but in between I added this I don't know I would call it goldenrod if you guys know what I'm talking about um, it's like this goldish yellow color I thought that was really cute it's just like a trimmer one to put in between there and then the next signature here this comes off this is an altered paper clip right here just a plain one but it's that uh, 
shimmery shiny paper again and then this one is also sh shimmery and it's just a double journal card we got some lemonade on the cover here and that just slides over the page I did some stenciling right there and that holds it in there nice and tight another book page there so we've got a pocket up here at the top I didn't put anything in there but here on the side this one's a side pocket again with the same shimmery paper and then it's a it's cardstock actually and it's just a double journal card And right here, I, I like to call these little buttons. They're kind of like clusters, but they're just more organized, I guess. Um, it's also a paper clip. So we've got this little flower cut out in the center with some pearls, some lace underneath that on a piece of card cardstock. And then the paper clip is hidden on the inside. And it's patterned on both sides too. So yeah, I was making a bunch of those and put them in the journal. We got some stenciling on this page as well. And then down here we just got this um, little tuck spot that I put there and I just collaged. Got some fabric on there. I got this little piece of cardstock here. It's supposed to be a lemon, I think, and I just cut it out with makes it look like a stamp. Put some rick rack on it. I thought it was cute. And it's just a corner tuck. We got some more stamping there. Right here is another envelope. So first, let's talk about this. This slips up, so you can journal there. Here's another one of the recipe cards. And then I also stamped, or stenciled, right there. And then of course you've got the envelope itself. And then here we got a back pocket, a side tuck there, and then another one of the recipe cards. Okay, right here is a little shaker that I made. I got some really cute like sequins and different colored confetti things in there. Yeah, I thought that turned out really cute. And then this back side, we got some more stenciling. And then this is just another little journal card that's that's lined. You can see that's lined. That just goes on the back side of that. Here's the last tab with another one of the dangles that I made with the little pinkish burgundy beads this time. Some more stenciling. Another one of the buttons that I made. This one I made again with some fabric. But we put this cute little plastic daisy in the center. I thought that was really cute. And again, it is a paper clip. Here's another hidden journal card. We got a little lemonade stand on there. It can be rolled on the back. This just flips up, so you got kind of a fabric flip as well. And you can see the pattern underneath. So it can be rolled on, journaled on. Lots of places to journal on in this. Again, slides in very easy. Um, right here we got a little pocket down here and then this right here lifts up so lots of journaling there and then this pulls down for more journaling there and then journaling on the back side so lots of space to write on that there's the center signature um, they're just bow tied so whoever gets this they want to untie it and put some dangles on there they can. Here I just kind of was playing around and did a patchwork design on a piece of paper and decided to put it on here. This was just a white page here so I just put that all together and glued it on. We got a little tag right here with some fabric, the same fabric on the as it's on the cover and then this cute little tag right here that can be wrote on the back. And it just kind of ties in with this image over here. I hope that sun's not glaring too much on here, you guys. Uh, we got just some music paper there. We got some more stenciling there. 
another one of those little buttons. Um, this one's got ribbons on it. And again, it's attached with a paper clip. And I put a little daisy on the front. Some more stenciling on this one. And then there's another envelope, um, the top of the envelope again, with some more of those little daisies and some journal cards. I really like this one because I put the daisy on the top right here. Um, these little prints also came from Timu. I thought the colors were perfect for this journal. So we got two journal cards in that one. Then I put that trim down this side over top of the fabric. Just added a little something to it. Um, right here is um, another, this is an envelope, or a paper bag. I got this paper bag from Walmart, as far as I can remember. Um, and then this is where the other, the last recipe card is. And so we got a pocket here in the front, and then a pocket in between, and then the pocket that this was in. There is no pocket in the back, it's completely glued down, so... Some more stenciling here. Here is the last pocket. Again, nothing in the pocket. Um, and then this flips up as well for some writing space. And then there's a side pocket here. We got some more stenciling and another little, little button right here that I made. But this one is glued down. More stenciling here. And that's it. We got two pockets back here. I can find something to put in those pockets um, if I need to. I didn't want to fill it up too much because it, it got pretty full. It's, it's pretty well packed uh, as it is. So I didn't want to get too filled up. So yeah, that is the lemonade stand. As I said, it'll be in my Etsy shop. If you're interested, please go check that out. You can also let me know what you think of this journal down in the comments below. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!